Hello, hi, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. I help people with twin flame ascension, ascension symptoms, and pretty much everything in between. Today in this video, I want to let you know about a group class I have coming up, and it is for the Lionsgate, but I am starting it on July 22nd for the Feast of Magdalene, Magdalene's Feast Day. Now, if you don't know who Magdalene is, she is part of the first wave of Twin Flames here on Earth. Also, many of us are from different places, okay? So there's a lot of mix up about who she is, who has she been historically, what is she doing? She's a Twin Flame, first and foremost. She guides a lot of people. I'm a part of the team that we are from in order to guide people from a much higher place back up to the fifth dimension. Now, I want to let you know that just to kick this off, we're going to have our honoring of Magdalene for her feast day. And we are also going to be honoring those who are cooks, who cook for and nurture other people or provide food service nurses, particularly hospice nurses, people who are pretty much in the thick of it when someone is sick and they need to draw on their energy every single day to, you know, stay up, to stay upbeat, even in the face of injuries, death, maimings, uh, illness, all kinds of things. And many of them do it very graciously and they keep doing it. It's a little different than being a first responder and not to knock first responders, but I think we need to honor many of the other people. And these are Magdalene's people too. Now she was a fiery electric feminine, very much with the energy of the Empress. Okay, Empress energy, the queen of her domain, but with the use of the force, the force of love, 5D love to get things done. She was also hounded and persecuted, and that's usually not widely known, but she was, like many people and many people in the, quote, early days of a lot of changes, and many people are still feeling uh, that they are there. Now, I work with your twin flame body, so during my 20-day class, it is an intensive to help you become acquainted with, so it can be a refresher for you. Many people... I find that they get back up into their head and you need this refresher. You need to get back to basics. Are you a beginner? This would be very good to begin and know what actions to take. I have a live question and answer. Now, Magdalene is the fire and that is what this energy is representing. It is fire energy. But what puts out a fire? Water. What else can put out a fire? Okay, earth. So we are going to be using some of the elements and particularly elements to your body, your etheric body of your etheric twin flame to help you stay calm, stay calm in the chaos, to have tools and ways to get yourself calm again, despite the chaos in the world. And this is particularly for people who are action she's the fire now the full moon is also shedding light on a lot of things now even though we are starting on you know the 22nd you're going to start feeling things ahead of time if this is new to you it may be very confusing and i help to distill it down focus let you know what actions to do how to what to do and by simply following instructions you start getting results what else about this? Well, it's a feast day, but the feast days that have happened in much older days are very different than now. This is a time of honoring the feminine. Okay, the feminine is being hounded and hunted in every part of the world. And it's time for people to take that electric energy back so that we are creating, you know, a different pathway. Okay, it's not just positive change. We have to create those different pathways so that we are teaching and training people how to treat us again. Okay, this means your families. 
in this energy, you're going to find that family things come up, particularly regarding children, particularly regarding childhoods. Injuries, a focus on old injuries that may be coming up and you may feel sick. It's hard to know what to do and it's hard to know what to believe when you feel sick and you know that you're ascending or going through an ascension process and you want to balance that and say, which is, you know, having to do with medical and which is metaphysical and therefore it is a purge and it's part of my ascension symptoms. I help you discern that. I help you to learn through your body how to discern. Now it doesn't happen overnight and it's not going to happen at all unless you join. So I'm going to give you a little tidbit of advice here. Uh, one of the things, uh, a few things that will help you get garlic in your diet. Garlic is an, uh, very good to fight off things, particularly during this time of year. Vitamin C, and you know, it does, doesn't come from, you know, certain things. You have to put in the right foods, particularly green ones, things like broccoli, spinach, very easy to assimilate. What else? It will help you to have a vegetarian diet and I will have a little outline on this. Okay. Even if you're not a vegetarian, okay. I was not a vegetarian. I was raised Polish and we had meat because this was one of the prized foods that people were deprived of the, you know, and this has happened with a lot of people who have suffered by being enslaved or being indentured or you know, forced to work the crops. And this has happened in Europe. It's happened in Greece. It's happened in Egypt. It's happened in the Middle East. It's happened in many, many countries, not just this country. And this country's like, you know, the buck stops here. We have to put an end to it. And it's not just about things like growing cotton or tobacco or sugar. It is about what people were deprived of. They were deprived of the choice cuts. They were deprived of any of it. They were not allowed to forage. If they foraged, sometimes they had to keep it on the down low so that they could, you know, tend to people with herbs and other, you know, homemade medicines, things that we're rediscovering now. So getting back to some of these basics, literal peasant food is something that will be helpful for you. Um, some raw foods, okay? Raw food can be as simple as crunching an apple. You get an apple, you eat it. Okay. You don't have to make it complicated. In fact, a lot of the overprocessed vegan and raw foods are highly processed, highly expensive. They're dehydrated. Um, you have to drink a lot of water to process them and they may have ingredients that you're actually sensitive to. The simpler you go with whole foods, the better off you're going to be. And you should do it for at least a week couple other things that will be helpful for you. Believe it or not, everyone's going to get riled. You're going to have some irritations. You're going to have annoyances. You're going to get tiffed. You're going to get ticked off. Your kids will get on your nerves. Your family will get on your nerves. You'll feel like shutting things off. This isn't really true apathy, but it can feel like apathy or it can seem like you're apathetic to other people. You're not sympathetic and you don't want to be empathic. You don't want to take on their stuff. You don't want it clouding yourself. You don't want to feel every little ache and pain. You don't want to feel the pains of the world. This is where I teach you how to balance it and how to do it, how to isolate properly, what body work to do so that you can. But some herbs that will help you with these angers. For women, it will be red clover. For men, it will be eleuthero, also called Siberian ginseng. Again, check it against any medications you may be taking, okay? They do tend to be mild to the system. Uh, one is a root, one is a flower. If you've ever taken flower essences, flowers can be good for your health. Flowers can also be something you're allergic to. Know thyself. Please know yourself and know if what you you know, maybe are prompted to, do you have a sensitivity to it or not? If you don't know yourself, you may have some abuse issues in your background and that's, you know, not your fault per se, but it is your responsibility to work on those things. So I hope to have you come to my class. 
I'm really here to help. Okay, this is what I do. I've done it for years. I've actually done it for a lot longer than people may realize. I've had to take a little bit of a step back in order to help my own child with his ascension and just the stuff in his life. And it has been a lot. And it was very good for me to learn because he is a male and it was firsthand knowledge of what the men go through, what males go through, what your children may go through if they're male children, things that happen during puberty. And if you need help with that for your family, if you have someone in your family who is a man, a male, and you care about them, it's your dad, it's your cousin, it's your brother, it's, you know, your child, it's, you know, nieces, I'm sorry, nephews or something like that. Um, students, please reach out for some help and find out what to do because getting angry at them when they are having ascension symptoms, it takes you being a sterling being. The bar is being raised for you to pause, assess, do not react, do not have knee-jerk reactions, and learn how to do this properly so that you know what to do. Until you know what to do, it is helpful to get proper guidance on this. Okay, Everyone's going to need extra sleep. I know it is in the Northern Hemisphere, it is the long days into the night, and believe me, I enjoy it. I enjoy that it stays light till 9 o'clock at night or 10 o'clock at night. I was a real night owl in my previous life. I used to love to go dance, but there are times when you have to hit it so that your higher self can help you do what needs to get done. If you're not, I'm going to say this to you right now. Make the time that it takes for your ascension. You are the only one to benefit from it, and you came here for this purpose, okay? You didn't come here to, you know, go to war again, even if it is still happening in the world. You came here for love, okay? Deep inside, you know it, okay? You can go back to your childhood. You can go to feelings on the inside. You here for love? Ask yourself. Are you here for love? A lot of times people even sublimate that. They're like, well, I'll learn all about astrology. I'll learn all about um, numbers and numerology. Stop getting distracted with some of the stuff out there. It is not going to help you with your etheric body or the connection to your twin flame. I am a highly regarded expert on ascension and twin flame ascension, the twin flame body. And I have been granted three trademarks for my work, for my educational tutorials and materials that I have. So I have taken the steps to make this as legitimate as possible. And it is all to help people, okay? Honor me by honoring the work that I've done, all of the things that I've gotten into for years of getting woken up at 3 a.m. to write things down just to help people. So... We have a lot of fun in the class. We laugh, we joke. You can share, you can listen. I don't force you to participate, but sometimes it is a really good, safe environment. It is a closed environment. It is not open for everyone. And it is only open if you join, if you choose to join, and yet you can hear other people. Many people make a true friend on the journey, not just someone who's like, you know, uh, uh, flying by the seat of their pants, you know, trying to be someone and, you know, they're really not doing the work. It shows up. It shows up when people really don't do what they're supposed to. So I'm here to help you get on track if you need a refresher or if this is new to you. Please do, don't be shy, okay? My links are below in the description. Check out my new website at TwinFlameReconnection.com. Thank you. Bye.